Hi, this is Dr. Justin here, and today's talk is on cortisol and how it affects your metabolism. So cortisol is kind of that buzzword that we hear in the media today. Well, what is cortisol? Well, let's break up the word in half. Cortisol is a glucocorticosteroid. So when we cut that in half here, gluco meaning glucose. So cortisol, the first part of it, helps regulate glucose and energy. So when our cortisol goes out of balance, whether it's high or low, it's not a good thing. When it starts going low, we become fatigued, all right, because our ability to mobilize glucose is really impaired. So let's look at that. So when we go back to our ancestral paleo days here, let's say a bear is attacking us. Cortisol is there along with adrenaline to help mobilize sugar. That sugar is there to help us either fight or flight and flee from the situation. So really important, we need that to help them deal with stress. But now we don't have lions and tigers and bears attacking us every day. We have work stress. We have financial stress, emotional stress, family stress. Now, even though it's not a life-threatening stress, like maybe a bear attack would be, our body still responds the same way hormonally and makes the same hormonal output. And again, over time, cortisol is going to create more sugar, and over time, we make more insulin. Now again, if we're making too much sugar from the cortisol from our stress, we start going into a state of insulin resistance. And what that is, when our cells become numb to insulin because it's around it so much, it becomes numb to it, our body has to make even more and more and more insulin. So this cortisol-insulin connection really is the deadly connection for our metabolism because we're liberating more and more sugar, primarily from muscle, so we become flabbier because we're losing our muscle tone and then a lot of that sugar is going to go back into our fat cells if we don't burn it because we're making all that insulin. So insulin is then driving all that sugar that's liberated from cortisol from our muscles and it's driving it right back into our cells as fat. So we become fatter and flabbier. Now the other face of cortisol, remember the cortisol, the glucocorticosteroid, the other half, the corticosteroid part is exactly how it sounds. It is a steroid. It helps with pain and inflammation. So a lot of people here maybe have had a, a bum shoulder or a bum elbow or an injured knee and they went to their physician to get a corticosteroid injection or a cortisone injection to help with the pain. This is the exact same thing. So if we're chronically in pain, we're going to be making more and more cortisol to put out the fire in our knee or in our hip. And if we're eating a pro-inflammatory diet, we're adding more fuel in the fire and we're making our body into an inflammatory state, which is not good if you want to look well, feel well, and perform well. So again, the two sides of cortisol is going to be burning up protein, burning up our muscle, storing fat because of stress. And again, very important for energy. The other side of cortisol is pain and inflammation. So we really want to do our best to regulate blood sugar, to be managing our stress, whether it be with meditation, uh, journaling, using an M-Wave device, and doing something, seeing some kind of healthcare provider, whether it be a personal trainer or a chiropractic physician, to get the underlying cause of your chronic physical problems addressed so we're not over overproducing or over-secreting cortisol. So we give you a lot of things to think about. Feel free and call the office and or email or visit justinhealth.com for any questions. Thanks. Have a great day.